Welcome to Oyster Island, everyone. It's a super long sand walk all the way down to the heavenly oysters down there. It's, a, it's like a pathway leading to heaven because today we're going to be smashing down some oysters. Oh, so I got this little red esky thing. It's got all my tools in it. And um, today's going to be a bit of a different video. So usually I, um, I catch something and then we cook it up. But today I'm not really catching anything. Well, well, I am catching something, but it's not really alive. Wait, but it is alive. Yeah, look, it counts as an episode, okay? I'm catching something that's alive, cooking it up. So there's my little esky, and I guess we head down there where the oysters are. All right, guys. Ow. Oh. oh, that was a real scream. <laughs> um, I think I made it to the end. Whew. It's a big walk. My feet are bleeding. So um, we're getting into the dangerous part now where we got to go through all these rocks here and uh, pick and choose our oysters. And I'm careful I don't step on any stonefish because they would be littered along here. Like there'd be stonefish everywhere. It'd be cool to see one. Wouldn't be cool to step on one. Yeah, so let's just get in there, collect what we need, get back out in one piece. Oh, we got plenty of options to choose from. I like this side though. That's all we got, just an island full of oysters. This is my kind of island. Okay, so what's in this bucket, you may be wondering, are my weapons of choice? Try to pop it open. Here we are, so, got a knife. You guys know that one. I got another knife here. This one's a bit more of a broken, um, heavy duty one, all rusted. That's just for smashing the oysters off the rocks. And then here, I've got a glove. That's gonna be for opening the oysters. And here is a really special oyster knife. Bit of meaning behind this one. I don't wanna lose it or break it. It's actually my great grandfather's oyster knife. He was an oyster farmer and he used this one and it's, I don't know, it's so cool. It's, it's wooden with a little blade. You don't get stuff like this anymore so I gotta be really careful with this. And I don't wanna cut myself so I've got the glove. Ooh. This is gonna be a painful day. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little oyster spa bath. Obviously, you can see all the oysters here. The issue is where I live, you don't really get them that big. They're all quite small, so probably gonna get quite a few of them. That. I think I just found a bit of turtle shell. Oof. Whoa. Wow, well, I think that's my biggest one so far. It gets really hot out here and my fingers and feet have got cuts everywhere already. But I think I'm collecting some nice oysters. Oh jeez! Look at the size of that one! <gasps> Whoa! I've never collected an oyster this big in the wild. Holy sh... You're probably laughing because that's still small but trust me around here, 
they don't get that big. Always open at the wrong end. Perfect. Oh, my feet, they're killing. But if we have a look, oysters everywhere. Yum, 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 yum. I think we got heaps. There's plenty for me to stuff up and we should have enough for the video, so. That'll be lunch. Head back to the boat with these bad boys, have a swim, cool down, and then, um, yeah, we can get the bloody flamethrower out and I'll show you guys how to cook these bad boys. Oh, back to the boat. Yep. Guys, I got the drone fixed, so that's super exciting. Now I can actually make some high quality vids, but yeah. That water's just to keep these guys super fresh um, until I cook them up, because they are alive, aren't they? Okay, we're about to hit. Hold up. Yep. <laughs> this looks like a good place that I can uh, prepare the oysters, actually. It's beautiful. So I'm chockers with uh, oysters and I gotta go and, I think it's called shacking. Gotta go crack them all open so I can make the oysters kill Patrick. I think I'll just find a spot along here somewhere and sit down for, for a little while and crack them all open. But I just can't get over the bloody water. It's like ankle deep, crystal clear. Alrighty, so the sun's behind me here. It's not in the best spot, but here's the setup. So I pretty much got all my equipment here that I'll need. Oysters in here and a plate with some sea salt. Holy crap, that looks so sick. We got one nice one there. All right, let's give this thing a go. So put it in your hand and you got to come from behind the oyster. Stick the knife in. Come on. Oh. Okay, I think I just killed the stabbed the oyster there. You're not meant to do that, but then you want to come around, break the top off. Okay, so that was a bit sloppy, but this bit here where the muscle holds on, that's what um, controls the uh, oyster's shell opening and closing. So once you like sever that, just be sitting there and you want to keep all that juice in there. There's another one. Oh, here's a nice one. Wow. Guys, I just opened this one and I'm so proud of it. It's massive. Biggest oyster ever. Well, I've been doing this for a little while and I have a plate full of fresh oysters. Oh.
I'm gonna try a secret little recipe for you guys. A lot of people know it as Oysters Kill Patrick, so I'm gonna make that and then gonna cook it and we'll have a few of those oysters. The rest that are in the bucket, I'll just smash them down raw uh, a bit later on the Savo. I'm just having a quick break. <laughs> Been doing that for ages. Sorry about those jet skis in the back. They're just uh, doing what jet skis do, I guess, but pretty much this is all we're gonna need. It's quite simple. We've got some nice bacon here. Worcestershire sauce and barbecue sauce. I got a lemon. I got a big lemon, but it's like super squishy. I think it's rotten, but anyway, we'll need a bowl for mixing the sauces. Your oysters, obviously, and flamethrower. I'll get to that in a second though, but this is what we're gonna need. First step is pretty much just the pour. Worcestershire. No, that should be plenty. It's like smoky barbecue sauce. You can use tomato sauce if you want, but I like barbecue. Oh! <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we're gonna cut off this bacon now. Shit, I nearly just chopped my dick off. Now, I actually think you don't need like more bacon than you have oyster meat, so that's probably heaps. So put a little bit of sauce into each oyster. Not too much, but like a fair amount. <laughs> and now we just want to sprinkle a bit of bacon onto each. I think they're done. I think it's time to get out the flamethrower. So since I don't have an oven out here, because I'm on an island obviously, um, I've got a flamethrower, so that's gonna cook it for us. Let's give it a go. Hopefully this thing works. Oh yeah. It works. All right, let's do it. Oh, wow. I just lost my flame. Uh, it was working. Hold up. Holy shit. Ugh. Keeps going out. Right, let's give this another go. This is sick. Come on, don't go out, flame. Oh, no! We're having some troubles in paradise, guys. The bloody flame throws. Not working as well as I thought it would. Give it another go. Shit, it's just burning them. I think they're done. Mmm, they smell cooked. That's delicious. Wow. I'm actually super keen to try these. Should I run up there? Yeah, I might go up there. Don't laugh at my lemons. I, I just don't know how to position them to make them look fancy. But you, you get it, right? It's, um, it's meant to be a fancy dish. How bloody delicious. Alrighty, let me get this lemon. I'm, uh, I'm going to take the big guy now. Bit of lemon on there. Really don't want the plate to slide off. There it is. Wow. Mm. Well, I think that wraps up the episode completely smashed all these it was really really mm, really delicious oh, salt was in there and I really think you guys uh, and I really think you guys should give it a go it was a delicious recipe um, or have oysters raw like they taste pretty good if you like this video subscribe down below if you're um, wanting some extra content follow me on Instagram at underscore Nick Fry 
and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Shouldn't be too long. Oh crap. Is that not the most epic drive off, come back, pick up the camera scene you've ever seen in your life? Whew.